Hey guys, it's John DeYoung, and today I want to talk about working out with a significant other. Um, whether you're seriously dating somebody, you're engaged, or you're married, this is the must-see video if you want to take your, your relationship to a higher emotional and physical level and feel more connected to your partner. Uh, studies show also that couples who remain attracted to each other, physically attracted to each other, make up from fights or misunderstandings sooner uh, than couples who've kind of let themselves go and, and kind of drop the ball, if you will. Um, and obviously that's a physical attraction that kind of outweighs that desire in, in a fight or misunderstanding to be right and draw it out and this other stuff comes up. So you maintain that physical attraction to each other. Uh, it's kind of nice, my wife and I have that. And I know she's mad at me, but she's still attracted to me as I am with her. So we tend to make up sooner because we don't want to be left to our own devices, if you know what I mean. Aside from maintaining a physical attraction, uh, couples who work out together, even if it's two to three times a week, can also increase their emotional bond, uh, accountability and motivation, and even uh, alleviate stress in a relationship from outside sources, the, you know, the constant grind of going to work, kids or whatever you have in your relationship. Increasing your emotional bond happens when you're lifting weights in rhythm with your partner or you're matching their walking or jogging pace or, or doing medicine ball tosses and catches, doing exercises in unison with each other. Um, this behavior creates nonverbal uh, matching or mimicry and mimicry has been shown to um, help people feel more emotionally attuned with their partner and having uh, increased feelings of bonding as well. Uh, accountability and motivation is increased when working out together because we've all had those mornings or after work where we're exhausted. There's no way we're going to go to the gym. But if we have a partner there who's equally committed to working out, staying in shape, staying attractive, um, they're going to get us to the gym. They're going to get you there. They're going to motivate you. You're going to get the workout in. You're both going to feel really great, physically connected and emotionally for getting the workout done. And also that you were, you know, you were there and you relied on your partner and you guys knocked it out and you did it. So. It's a great thing. And lastly, scheduling or carving out time uh, to work out with your partner in your busy schedule, the stressful week, stressful day at work. Um, you know, even if it's again a few days a week, you see that on your calendar, um, you know, they're going to meet at the gym. So it's kind of a nice, it's a nice break from the grind. Um, again, accountability and, you know, you're both, you're both counting on each other. You're motivating each other to get to the gym to work out and take care of yourself physically which then will take care of yourself emotionally and then bond with your partner. So even if you meet at the gym and you both have very different disciplines of working out, um, then you can do go for a hike on a different day. You can go for a swim. You can uh, go surfing. I live in Southern California. The hikes and surfing are always present, always available. Um, go for a swim in a pool, um, paddle ball, uh, pickleball, tennis. <laughs> even if you go to the gym and you can warm up or stretch together, um, have a pre-workout nutrition, you know, pre-workout shake together, do a little stretching and then go do your own thing. You can see each other in the gym, kind of flirting from afar. It's kind of cute, a little motivational and you can do a little showing off, a little peacocking as my wife would call it when I'm pumped up. So, you know, just find, take someone you love, share something you love, you're working out and I'm sure they do because you guys are already together. Uh, you can take that to another level and make it more fun, less drudgery and, you know, also become more attractive to each other and uh, the rest, you know, you already know that part. So, <laughs> all right, guys, go have fun. Don't uh, take everything too seriously and uh, work on that body. You know, you, you feel good outside, you're going to feel good inside. Um, this is not talking about having like a perfect body. It's perfect between the two of you. You've already, you're already in a relationship. You're already attracted to each other. Let's kind of maintain that and try to bring it to another level and do it together. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hit subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, I'll see you soon.